It is D Toba. It is D Toba. It is D Toba. It hit that stomach like whoa whoa. I was like, yes. Oh, it was so good. So we are back with another video. We are back with yet another full review video. Diasha is here and as you can see by the title we are back in Texas but this time we in a different part of these Texas streets we are in Houston Texas and we will be trying the breakfast club today I've been looking forward to meet some soulful breakfast so let's hop right into the video on your right you all the deets about breakfast club I'm going to tell you my experience from the moment we pulled out pulled in to the moment we pulled out so when we first pulled up we did find parking at the parking lot the parking lot was very small but it did have quite a few spaces and we did not have to pay for parking we parked we got out and then we were quickly greeted by one of the workers I thought I was in line and come to find out I was not in line indeed and I had to turn the corner and boom there was the line that I saw on the videos we stood in it for about 30 minutes it was raining unfortunately but they had tents and they had someone out there keeping it moving keeping you entertained making sure that you know exactly what's gonna happen when you enter the building so our greeter it was this um, black lady she was so pleasant she had a great personality she was making us laugh she was like y'all better know what you gonna eat when you get in there and I thought she was playing but she was not playing because I'm one of those people that's like hmm what am I gonna eat I don't know but she was not playing with me when I entered those doors I was quickly greeted by a waiter or a cashier and they asked me what do you want to eat and I was put on the spot but you know I don't fold under pressure so I politely ordered what I thought I wanted which I ordered a um a pancake platter which was about $15 and then I added fresh strawberries <sighs> those fresh strawberries were to die for and then I had a side of bacon that came with my pancakes that was in the $15 and then I added cheese to my eggs that came with the $15 as well I think it was an extra like 55 cent to add cheese not bad that's about average and then I ordered a side of uh, grits I absolutely love grits like that's the Florida in me that's the soul in me y'all know if I see grits on the menu I am ordering me some grits especially for breakfast like I love grits I don't know what it is I don't know my parents must be was cooking grits and just feeding that to me as a baby because I absolutely love grits I'm not huge on breakfast but 
I will eat breakfast if that makes sense like my friend Adriana she absolutely loves breakfast she give us this whole speech about how breakfast is the most important meal of the day and I break that rule all the time because I never eat breakfast my mom absolutely loves breakfast so we always eat breakfast with her but I think I get it from my dad because he's not big on breakfast either he's just like he'll eat maybe two or three o'clock in the day that's the first time he eats and I do the same thing so that's probably where I get it from so when we walked in we ordered our food we had a number and you take that number to your table and in about 10 minutes at max it was super quick in about 10 minutes someone quickly greeted us and brought us our food and everything came out right fresh and hot I was like okay fresh okay breakfast club I'm here for it and then the portion size I was like well who ordered all this <laughs> where all this came from so with my $15 breakfast came the bacon eggs and three large extra large pancakes I was like who can eat all of this at the end of it me and my friends because three of us ordered pancakes me Gabby and Alex all ordered pancakes we looked at each other plate we was like <laughs> We all probably ate about one pancake a piece. We was like, we could have ordered one order of this and called it a day because that's just how big the pancakes were. And when I say they were big, they were big and they were filling because I ate maybe one pancake and a fourth of my second one. But I was stuffed, y'all. I was like, ooh. That I... <laughs> That eyes was hitting me. I was like, oh my God, what is going on here? I was like, oh my God. So we, the grits, they were okay. Um, I think uh, I waited too late to eat them because you know with grits, when they fresh and hot, they good. But if you wait till they cold, they get all chunky and just like, uh. so I took a few bites of my grits but I was really filled on the um, the pancakes and the bacon. And they also had hot syrup. Now, I, I, I didn't know I was particular about whether my syrup was hot or cold, but the hot syrup, it hit that stomach like, whoa, whoa, I was like, yes. Oh, it was so good. I was just so proud of Breakfast Club. I was sitting there like, I know that's right. Can you imagine how much they're making if they can get us in here from the time we entered to the time we left in about an hour and 15 minutes? You know how many parties? And they open from 7 a.m. to 2. So that's how you know you're doing good. If you don't even have to be open all day and your business is still booming. I was like, yes! So let's hop right into the, the, the review part. So for portion, I give them a 10 out of 10 because for $15, I got three large pancakes. I got, I think it was three or four strips of bacon. I got two, I think I got two eggs, but they make their eggs really fluffy. So it made us feel like it was like three or four eggs. I couldn't even eat all of that. And then I did get a side of grits. The grits was $5. Wait now, how much is a bag of grits? About five dollars? So yeah, they're making a killing off that because if I pay five dollars for a single serving, I know they making a killing off those grits and I still ate my grits, so no complaints over here. And then for customer service, I would give them a 10 out of 10 because we didn't have a waiter, but the people who brought our food with food out were very pleasant and like I told you guys the um the lady outside she was so nice like she just made conversation with us she was making sure that we were prepared and we knew what was happening when we entered that restaurant so she was doing her job so for customer service I give them a 10 out of 10 and then for I told you guys portion presentation I give them a 7 uh, it just came on the colorful plates I know that there's this signature because I see it all over their um all over the social medias but they did add a little I didn't get any powdered sugar on mine I wish I would have because I would have added a nice little extra mm, for presentation but I don't know if you have to ask for that or that's just how it comes I didn't ask so I don't think I got it and then for 
tell you guys. Let me see what I'm missing. Location, I would give it a 9 out of 10 because we did go to the mall right after we left the breakfast club and that was... That was an experience because we done got the items. We full. We like, yes, girl. And then it was time to go to the mall according to our itinerary. And we we went and we pushed through, but we were so tired. I was like, no, you can't eat this food and lay down on it. That's why we put that there in the first place. But whew, it was like an old school breakfast that your grandma cooked. And you like, after that breakfast. After that breakfast, you'll be ready to lay down and go to sleep. But we did not do it. But that's what we wanted to do. That's how good it was. So for location, I give them a um, 9 out of 10 because the mall was only about 10 minutes away. We went to the Galleria after that. And then for taste, I give them a 9 out of 10 because that hot syrup was real good. And my pancakes was so hot, fresh, and fluffy. Mmm. Oh, so good and then for overall i would give the breakfast club a nine out of ten i really did enjoy my experience there i'm so glad that i got to experience it when i did um start researching for places that i was going to visit in houston i was like this is a foodies heaven like that place like houston has a lot of good food and i was looking forward to being able to try all these places and share it with you guys. So, all that being said, that's gonna be the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for continuously supporting me. It is d It is d It is d <laughs> So it is my birthday month. My birthday is October 28th and we have a special video coming out on that day we will be reviewing a highly 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 requested video on this channel and that's gonna come out on the special day october 28th so make sure you like it comment and comment down below how do you like your grits sweet or savory comment down below i like my savory and I ain't gonna judge you. If you don't like yours that way, just comment down below and let me know. And make sure you are subscribing. I'll wait while you subscribe. Click that red button. And make sure you are turning on your post notification bells because I've been alerted that not everyone knows when I post. So I'm gonna be here every Thursday for sure. At 8 a.m. If you don't see a, a notification come up, come check. Come see what Diasha at today because I can almost promise you every Thursday at 8 a.m. If you don't see me Thursday at 8 a.m., <laughs> you should be worried because I'm, if I'm not there, there's an issue going on and I will probably let you guys know on my Instagram. So make sure you go follow my Instagram as well. So, with all that out the way, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye!